Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin for Gadget TV on Butterscotch.com, taking a look at the Danelec Z-Pen. Z-Pen. And what it is, it's a clip-on notebook receiver that tracks this pen to convert your writing into a uh, digital format. So it comes with one gigabyte of storage inside the device. You can see here, it plugs in via USB. Well, if we can get the cap off. So it plugs in via USB to charge the device and also to uh, transfer your notes. Now, it's reported to work with Windows, with Mac, and with Linux. Uh, the truth of the matter is Windows users get all the, uh, all the cool stuff, get the handwriting recognition that can convert your, your written, well, in my case, scrawled notes into uh, computer editable format, like a Microsoft Word document, for example. Uh, Linux and Mac users are basically all we get is uh, page viewer or pen and ink viewer, I believe it's called software, which allows us to read the files that are on, that we've actually recorded onto the device. So that it saves in a proprietary file format, as you can see, we've put it under the, uh, the cons section here. And we'll show you what these notes actually look like um, in a computer format later. Um, like I say, proprietary file format, it uses a .eli file format, which is not natively readable by anything other than the pen and ink software. So what you actually have to do is go into the software, um, take your note, open it up in ELI format, choose to save as a PDF, which is an option within the software. You can also choose to save as a variety of uh, image files, a PNG file, a JPEG file, a GIF file, a bitmap file, and so on. So like I say here, under the pros section, the great thing about this is that it really does work with any notebook. Here you can see we have a, a small open SRS notebook that we got uh, from Two Cows. So all we have to do is clip it onto the top of the notebook. It actually uses sound waves. Um, so there's a transmitter in the pen, a receiver inside the, the receiver device up here. So it actually tracks the location of the pen on the page. So you can see nothing's actually happening right now. But if I were to underline, you can see that the pen light actually lights up. Now, if I wanted to just scrawl some notes in the, in the, in the um, margin, or perhaps uh, I'm taking minutes in a meeting and I want to say something uh, negative, I hit the pause button, I can write that, hit pause again, and I can actually resume um, the note taking, the note taking that I'm going to share with everyone. So you can see here, like I say, it has one gigabyte of storage on board. You, you can use that to, uh, to record the notes. The note files come up to about maybe 200K per page. So you can, you can uh, save thousands of pages onto this thing. Uh, you can also use it to transport your files just as you would a normal USB key. Although it is a little large to be used uh, in that manner, we found that it, it does take up uh, more than one USB port on most notebooks that we've tried it on, and even on uh, some desktops. So one really great thing is that it actually keeps all of our notes together in one file. So if I flip the page now, clip it back on, it'll recognize that I'm starting a new page, and I can just draw, like I say, excuse my chicken scratching and my, uh, my poor artistic skills. We'll draw a gadget TV. So you can see, as we go, you can see that the pen light lights up. If I'm just pointing at something, nothing happens, but if I now start to write gadget TV, you'll see that when the pen nib actually hits the paper, you can see that it lights up because it's receiving. It's actually receiving the data. Like I say, it works on sound waves, the transmitter in the pen, receiver in the, uh, in the receiver device up here. So that's a quick look at the Danelec Z-Pen. For Gadget TV, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin. For more sweet stuff, visit butterscotch.com.